Hi, I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make this primitive Easter carrot bundle. Let's get started. To complete this project, I'm going to use some muslin and some stuffing, some orange paint, paintbrush, and some finishing wax. And I got this flowering garland from Hobby Lobby, but any greener that you can find that looks like carrot tops. This one is especially nice because it will pop right out, the little pieces do, so I can just pop right out however many I want to use. I sketched out a carrot here. It is really a triangle shape that I rounded the edges on and rounded the point on the bottom here. And I made it a long skinny triangle so it will be carrot shaped when I put it all together. I'm going to cut around it and then want a total of three carrots. So I'm going to cut three of these out. I'll place all three on top of each other and cut them all out at the same time. I will take it to the sewing machine and I'll fold it over lengthwise and sew along this edge here. So I've got these all three sewn up and so now I'm just going to turn them. Then I'm going to stuff them with some fiber fill stuffing. Leave it about three-fourths of an inch to an inch unstuffed at the top. I have all three of them stuffed now. I want to use a watered down paint, so I've put a little bit of water in this bowl. I'm going to roll up a piece of fabric to keep the water off to the side here so all of my paint doesn't get wet. Just pour a little orange paint in there. to start painting. I want to paint all of the carrot, but I'm going to paint up to the end of where I stuffed for now and then let it dry and then I'll come back to it later where I can hold this end and paint the unstuffed end. And now that the paint is dried on the bottom part, I'm going to paint the tops here. I want to paint it all the way to the tip of the fabric. Now I'll set those aside to dry and I will come back to them later. 
Okay, the carrots are dry, so now I'm going to put a little bit of finishing wax on them. Just going to rub it on. Now if you don't want your carrots to look old and grungy, you could skip this step. got the wax on now I'm just going to set that aside to dry the carrots have completely dried okay so I have this thin jute that I have cut a short length of and I'm going to take some of the greenery pieces here I have three sprigs I'm going to stick those in there and then I'm going to tie the jute around the top part here. So it will hold those in. Do a double knot and then cut those off. And I'll repeat that for the other two carrots. Now that I have all three carrots made, I'm going to bundle them up together. I'm going to use a jute that's just a little bit thicker and slide it under and tie the three into a bundle. If you wanted these to be sure they stuck together good, you could take them and glue them together. I'm going to tie little knots in the ends of my string there.
you enjoyed learning how to make these carrots. Please subscribe below and click the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye.